Hey, it's Joanna here with Four Legged Scholars Dog Training, and we're here with Sandy, and this is Autumn. And we are um, based in Garrettsville, Ohio, and Sandy's worked with Four Legged Scholars and did about seven sessions with us, and she's here to express her experience with Four Legged Scholars. So, Sandy, can you tell us what Autumn was like before you started working with us and the issues that you were having? Um, Autumn's pretty hyper and she would have a mind of her own. Uh, anything we said or did, she wasn't going to do what we wanted, but now we have a little bit more control <laughs> and she's doing way better, way better for us. So what were some of the, the issues that you're having that she was doing stuff that you didn't like? The jumping on people that came and just absolutely going crazy, people coming to the door and she just um, would jump on them, knock them over, I had grandkids, great grandkids, um, making them fall um, and not letting up. I mean, she would just, the whole time they were here, it didn't stop. As I've been training and teaching them, how to work with the behavior, she now will settle down within five or 10 minutes of them being here. So it's a lot better. <laughs> you want attention right now, silly goose? <clears throat> yeah, and sometimes it still happens. Like it just did right now with me, and yeah. that's, you know, that's part of the experience. But overall, it's, it's decreased a lot, a lot better, right? A lot better. She will listen to a lot more of the commands. She likes her treats. <laughs> <laughs> so on a scale of one to 10, with one being she, you know, how you started out with her with the jumping and 10 being like um, her being absolutely perfect. I know she's not at that point yet. What number would you, would you give her with your grandchildren now? Oh gosh, at least a nine. That's um, awesome. <clears throat> That's awesome. And again, if she gets her unruly behavior, it's usually because they've done something that I said we shouldn't do right. to reward the behavior. So, <clears throat> um, so, but when they're following the rules that, that you've given me, um, she is a lot better with them and they know. And sometimes they'll automatically cause her to do it just because they said, oh, I don't want her to jump on me. No, we don't want that anymore. So yeah, yeah. So a lot, lot better. So what are some of the the tools that that we do? So while we're talking, there's a few times that that she um, um, jumped on on me. And what are some of the tools that that you learned to help with that issue? Distract her. Distracting her. Distracting her and get her attention back over to me. Got it, got it. So getting her to do an alternate behavior, yes. well, what did we train her to do? Sit. Sit mm -hmm. or stand and be settled, right? Right, right. right? And then when, when she would jump on somebody, we we taught Sandra to, to also turn her back. Turn my back. Um, and to call or call her over over mm -hmm. um, in her direction if we or, can. Right? Lure her over. Yep, yep, lure her over. Yeah, luring, mm -hmm. so luring. Show us what that lure is again. So you get a food in your hand and you can move her, move the dog over and they'll follow it. That's awesome. Great. So are there any other um, tools that, that you'd like to share with us that, that you learned? I know leash walking was hard and yeah, you learned some stuff on that. Yeah, she wanted to eat all her leashes and now with a new harness and um, a steel chain instead of a cloth uh, fabric leash she's doing much better uh, with that and we have more control over because of the front clip uh, everybody kept telling us to use the back and it wasn't working and so we were frustrated but then when you introduced us to the front harness clip we have more control she's better behaved and actually make her <laughs> Make her, yeah. make her walk and um, she's in more control. Awesome, awesome, great. I am so glad to, to have helped you. It was, it's been a great time and I'm glad that you had a positive experience. And what would you tell somebody that, that wanted to work with Four Legged Scholars? 
it's it's well worth the money spent to have peace of mind at home for your kids your family it's way better <laughs> way awesome better. awesome yay and there's cute autumn sitting very nice well, thanks again. And again, if anyone Thank is you. interested, you're welcome. I loved it. It was so fun coming. I'm going to actually miss coming here. <laughs> Autumn's oh. going to miss you because when I watch your YouTube videos, she hears your voice and she starts looking around for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, your voice. you're going to miss me too. Maybe I'll come over and visit you sometimes. <laughs> you're not that far away from me. No. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we would love to hear about your dog. You can contact Four Legged Scholars by going to Ohio, the number four legged scholars.com or calling us at 801 463 1668. And have a great rest of your day.